of the look. Perfect. So, hey, what's up guys? I'm Nina and this is my first video. I'm about to embark on a one month long trip to Southeast Asia. I'm going to Thailand and Bali, Indonesia and all I'm bringing with me is one carry-on backpack. I'm trying to live more of a minimalist lifestyle, especially when traveling and I watched a lot of packing videos. Seriously, I became obsessed with packing videos. I think it's really important to watch a lot of these packing videos. This way you can see what might be necessary that you overlooked and what might be unnecessary and that you should leave behind. Somewhere on the scale between an actual minimalist and someone who's an aspiring minimalist but also an aspiring fashionista. So I hope you keep watching and thanks. Before we get started, I thought I'd show you my backpack. This is just the Amazon Basics and it was under $50. It the one thing is that it does have good shoulder support, but it doesn't have the waistband, so it does hurt my shoulders a little bit, but I'm too lazy to return it and too cheap to buy one of those like $150 bags. In here, I just have some dressy sandals, dressy, and some extra Ziploc bags. I have like some more fake Birkenstock sandals, a journal, a little Bali guidebook that my mom got me, love her, some pens, um, my malaria medication. And so if you open it up, it opens up like a suitcase, which is really cool. It has these two compartments. So first in this compartment, it unzips obviously, I have my computer charger, an extra pillowcase, and my daily contacts. I also have a laundry bag back here that folds up. And I have a lot of tampons because in Asia, they don't have uh, tampons or they don't have ones with plastic applicators. Um, then I will go through this. This is basically the bulk of my items. I have a microfiber towel which has stickies on the bottom. It's a yoga mat towel by Manduka. So this will actually double as a yoga mat for me if I uh, need one. I have my electronics in here my dry toiletries in here which i'll go through my wet toiletries which i put in this bag that you get like when you buy pillowcases or sheets or whatever so that was pretty cool and then my clothes and my bras underwear and bathing suits so i'll go through each of these first i will go through everything in my wet toiletry item bag as you can see it is quite heavy and some of this might not be essential to you but i will go through all of them and show you so i'll start with my essential oils um as you can tell i use a lot of essential oils for first aid reasons um this is good for digestion it's grapefruit i use the brand young living because you put it in your water i use lavender for relaxation peppermint i rub on my stomach rub on my uh, temples to wake me up for my stomach uh also to use this on my toothpaste and this citronella i'm going to make a natural bug spray out of next for my face stuff i'm bringing a young living uh toner um some exfoliant face wash i have some toothpaste I have a BB cream which has SPF for my face, suntan lotion because in Asia they put whiteners in their suntan lotions oftentimes, um, and some cocoa butter. I also have this coconut oil, it cracked, but that's good too. Um, I have a natural hand sanitizer, this perfume that I made with natural oils in Woodstock, New York. I'm from New York, holla. And this topless and barefoot. Essie color. I love it. It's so great. And then up here, I have some argan oil for my frizzy hair, some conditioner, again, Young Living, lavender, shampoo, and body wash. That's it for the wet toiletries. By the way, if you're still watching, thanks for hanging in here because it's my first video and I know it's not the best cinematography. This is my dry toiletry bag. It has a pouch in here and it folds open like this. In here, I just have my toothpaste toothbrush, which I put in a separate little bag, uh, two disposable razors, a tweezer. I have just an eyebrow filler palette in here, my eyebrow pencil thing, a chapstick, again from Young Living, and some hair ties. And then next in here, I have this razor, which I love, but I don't know if they're going to let me bring it on the carry-on, so that's why I have these. Uh, some cotton balls, Q-tips, and floss. This packing for this trip made me realize how much waste I go through. Um, here are some face masks and eye masks, which are good to rehydrate you during the plane. I have my probiotics, some activated charcoal for stomach issues, and some garlic pills in case I get cold. Um, deodorant, I have my spray, that I'm the empty container that I'm going to make the bug spray out of. 
a nail file and I have some face wipes in here. Oh, and some band-aids. So that's everything in okay, here. Okay, so next I'll go through my bras underwear. So I have um, a few, four different sports bras. This one has hidden pockets in it, which is really good for walking. I don't really wear normal bras, so I think four sports bras is good for me. Uh, especially like this one will double as a bathing suit. This one too, it's high coverage. Speaking of bathing suits, I'm bringing one tube top bathing suit with one bathing suit bottom because I will be using these. One lace bralette, two pairs of boy shorts, two thongs, and in here I also have some wet wipes and underneath all of this, if you could see, I have like a thing of pampers. You never know when you need baby wipes. So in this packing cube, I have my clothes. I have two pairs of socks, two sports socks, one no-show socks. I have black Lululemon leggings that I live in. They're so comfortable. Uh, some green lace shorts, casual green jean shorts. Um, I have some black Lululemon shorts under here, which you can't see, and I have this black flowy tank top. I'll unroll these shirts. You can see what I'm bringing. This is a dressy sh tank top, um, a Lululemon sports athletic top, a green v-neck pajama shirt, pajama shorts which have a hole in the crotch so I'm going to toss when I get there to opt for some of the shorts that they sell in Thailand, a green racer back, a plain black camisole, full coverage, a t-shirt dress, um, which I could dress up or dress down as a beach cover up, and another black, um, nice going out shirt. I'll lay these all out. They say that rolling your clothes makes it not wrinkly, but I disagree. Um, so this is my black v-neck. This is a little crop shirt. This is my dressy, like, racer back dressy shirt, a racer back casual shirt. Um, Clean H&M. This, I love this shirt from Urban Outfitters. This is a dressier shirt and my Lululemon top. So last but not least, we have this back pocket, which is right above, the, right behind the straps, which the straps tuck in, by the way, and there's a secret pocket over here where my thumb is. But in here, I'm just gonna put my laptop and it has this, so it's adjustable. Your laptop won't touch the bottom of your backpack and my folder where I'm gonna keep my important documents. And finally, I have my little personal item. Ugh. I have my sunglasses, some books, my passport holder, which I love. Passport in here, don't look at my address. Yeah, that's that. Um, I have a scarf and my, oh, those are my eyeglasses, my sunglasses. So don't mind my messy mirror, it's not dirty, it's just stained from hairspray, but this is what I'm gonna be wearing on the plane. It's a green H&M thermal shirt, my Lululemon pants, not the leg warmers, I'm still in New York, it's freaking cold. And this is what the backpack looks like, guys. So all of that stuff on my bed is gonna be fitting in here on my back so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you don't mind my you know learning the video skills because i'm going to be trying to upload cool videos from all around the world and i'd love to share them with you and be friends so thanks guys and i'll catch you around the world bye